Why, thank you, thank you, thank you. How we doing? How we doing? This, incidentally, is the beginning of the show. This is where we're going to get started. So everybody got their drinks, everybody settled in, everybody ready to go? All right. I read a terrifying, a terrifying poll. They asked Americans, adult Americans, drinking adult Americans, what are your top fears? Number two fear. Death. Number one fear, per correct, performance or public speaking, which is to say that most people would rather be in the coffin than delivering the eulogy. It's really sad because we've been for the last month, we've been talking about how to conquer stage fright up here. We've been giving, I mean, we're not saying we're experts, but we have experience. We've been leaving this breadcrumb trail, you know, about being brave and about doing the work so you're prepared and then about just, you know, Remembering that all you people are in this and, and we're in this together and we're gonna do awesome things together we've, we've given you a map to doing it and so you can be brave and here's the thing if you've actually who has since we've been talking about this stuff made it up on the stage Let me hear a cheer That's a lot of people who have actually now become official superhumans of the open stage Because they've overcome the big fears the death fears, the public, the top two. I mean, yeah, I'm still creeped out by heights and bugs and I'm a little suspicious of the colored plaid, I admit it. But, not stri stripes, are, stripes are okay, they're slimming and they're nice. But the thing is, if you've conquered those fears and that was your end game, if your goal was to just be brave as hell, you're done. Congratulations, yay! There's kind of a problem, though. Uh -oh. what, what if your goal was something a little bigger than that? What if your goal was to be, and this is like one of my goals, a better performer, a better entertainer? Uh-oh. What? That's, you know, you're on the right track, hecklers. You're on the right track. Keep, keep doing it. I got all night. But here's the thing. You keep doing it. I, I heard, um, I went to a CD release party by a guy who has not yet played the stage. Let me go yell at him. Freddie Jones, you need to come here and play the open stage because you're awesome. I am now, I am now on behalf of the audience going to shout out your CD for a minute. I'm gonna email this to you and we will shame you until you show up. Good, okay. So Freddie Jones had a CD release party. His fans helped him get this done. And he stepped up on the stage to debut it at the party. And he said, it's called, and he got this from an actor friend of his, your last movie. Because you're only as good as your last movie or your last performance. I'm figuring if that's all he's going to do, he's good because it was a great CD. It really seriously was. But he then went on tour. He's working on three new projects. He's got, he's got it going on. And I'm thinking... It's links in a chain. Every performance you do, you gotta turn it on your head, the whole thing on its head, when you decide that you're gonna do more than just prove you're brave. Now, every time we step up here, we're just trying to get better. Somebody asked me not too long ago, is it okay if we bring an act we've done back to the open stage if it shows some evolution? Just to ask the audience, what do you think of the idea? Yeah! I wanna give an official answer to this question because it plagues me sometimes. The, one of the goals, we want to have a good time, right guys? And, and we want to drink and be silly, right guys? All right. But one of the goals here is this is an incubator of talent. Our goal, if we can help anyone become a better performer, we've achieved something incredible. And that's what, that's what my hope is. I, I know that's what a lot of our hope is. And I've watched in other people. So if you have something you're working on, even if we've seen a little bit of it, guess what? Anything graceful you ever see on a stage has been done a hundred times. Anything amazing has been done a hundred times a hundred times. Don't be afraid to show us something again. And just, just as long as it shows that growth, that evolution. Go back and look. I watch every performance I do. I watch every performance you guys do on YouTube. Go back and look at the first couple of months of what we've done here. 400 pieces of evidence, 400 videos, how much we've done now and how much we've all grown. It'll blow your mind, and it's the greatest learning tool ever. 
I hope you guys take that opportunity, and I hope you keep bringing awesome things up here on the open stage. Yeah.